Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. You know, I'm often telling you about our website, my-dailydose.com. I hope that you'll go there. If you listen over YouTube, you can go to the YouTube page and look at the episode description that's underneath the um, the player, and you'll see there the address for uh, the Bible Bistro. It's right there on top. Check out the Bible Bistro at, and then I give you the address, my-dailydose.com. Go there, and you'll find all kinds of fun stuff. Today we're looking at verse 168. Here in Psalm 119, this concludes the shin section and it gives us the seventh step in the way of the disciple or the seven ways of discipleship. So the first way we met in verse 1, my heart stands in awe of your word. Verse 162, we had the second way, I rejoice in thy word. Verse 163, we had the third way, which was covenant created between the Lord and the believer. I hate, abhor, I hate and abhor lying, but thy law do I love. The fourth step is found in verse 164. We have an explosion now of devotional activity. Seven times a day do I praise thee. That wasn't happening before because there was no life in the spirit or the soul. They were dead in trespasses and sin. But once redemption comes, we are awakened from those things, and suddenly we realize, hey, <laughs> This is cool. I'm alive now. Let me praise God for what he's done and what he has declared in his word. Verse 166, we had the fifth way. Lord, I have hope for your salvation and done thy commandments. The working out of the commandments in the life of the believers happening now. It couldn't have ever happened before. The sixth step, my soul has kept thy testimonies and I love them exceedingly. The covenant between the believer and God is now continuing, is growing is becoming more prominent in the life. And now we come to step seven here in 168. I have kept thy precepts and thy testimonies for all my ways are before thee. As I said yesterday, as I teased this section, this is the believer preparing to finalize things and move on to the next chapter. You know, life ends in the body, but life does not end. Life ends for the flesh, but life does not end for the soul or the spirit. No, there's more to be lived out. And God has something greater for the believer in the, in the life after this fleshly life. And so the, the seventh step is preparing for that eventuality. I have kept thy precepts and thy testimonies. All my ways are before thee. And so with him making that statement, my ways are before thee, He's preparing for judgment. Judgment is going to happen. We're all going to stand before, all believers are going to stand before the judgment seat of Christ. We're going to be there to receive those things done in the body. That is both a a horrifying thought as well as a wonderful thought because it's wonderful that we've been able to do the commandments while in the body. It's wonderful that we've been able to to keep the precepts and the testimonies. It's wonderful that we've made covenant with the living God. Glory. It is wonderful that we've found great spoil in his word. You know, all of that is wonderful, but it's horrible to think about the things that we've done, consciously done, that were not in a line with God's word. They were, not, they were not in accordance with God's word. Those things will be judged, and we will have to pass through the fire of that judgment. I've kept thy precepts and thy testimonies all my ways are before thee. How wonderful that is, though, that thought that all my ways are before him. He sees me, and he sees me with eyes of mercy and compassion and tender loving kindness. Well, join me again next week. We'll look at our final section in Psalm 119, and that's the top section. I hope you'll join me then on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.